Family is kind of the center, I'd say, of our existence. I was 51 years old, I had six children, children in college, children in high school, surviving this uh, experience with cancer and, and surviving the surgery. It's a great story and I'm forever grateful to the doctor for saving my life and for his team. I had been troubled with uh, acid uh, indigestion, if you will, acid reflux for uh, 15 years. One night I was uh, suffering symptoms that I thought was a heart attack and they checked my heart out and said my heart was fine. And uh, I had a scope and he came back and told me I had a precancerous condition called Barrett's esophagus. Jerry was very religious. Every year he would go and get scoped. For 10 years, I think it was. And that 10th year, he was thinking about maybe I'll skip it this year. But, uh, you know, I would take him and he did it and we found out it was cancer. Life interrupted. It's, um, it's a hard thing to hear. You know, and you start worrying about everything, you know, and how do we handle this? Esophagectomy is a large surgery, and they've uh, removed your esophagus, they've reshaped your stomach, they pull it up in your chest and connect it at your neck. And I was given the names of three surgeons by my physicians. Actually, one of the surgeons told me that he could do it, but that Dr. Oranger was the best and that if I can get into U of M and see Dr. Oranger, I should go there, which I thought was pretty high praise because surgeons tend to be um, confident fellows. And this is what the transhidal esophagectomy uh, has, has generated. By reducing the lung complications, by reducing the infection complication if there's a leak, uh, in the last thousand patients, there's been a 1% mortality which is about the risk of having a gallbladder out, although this is certainly not gallbladder surgery. So 97% go home about a week after surgery, being able to eat a soft diet and progress and, and, and get well. I remember uh, being in the operating room and then I woke up in my room and the surgery was over. I mean, I, I call this bonus time. Uh, over these last seven years, probably had uh, three more undergrad graduates from college, two grad schools, you know, a law school, an MBA, uh, a master's in education uh, on the kids, a marriage, you know, so I picked up a great son-in-law along the way and, and probably our highlight for the last year has been we had our first grandchild. Um, having a grandchild is just a wonderful experience. I'm enjoying my bonus time. <laughs>